Hello and welcome back to Blue Polar Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of uh, the Ubiquinti Unified Security Gateway. This one, this model here. Uh, I have it for over two years. It's uh, it's it's a, my f it's a gateway. A gateway is uh, like a. Um, it's not a router, a gateway is where your internet comes in, it's a, a, a firewall. So uh, it, this model here is a high security one, it's a professional one. So if you have a business or something like that, you, 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 don't, you, you want to plug your internet, like I have my uh, fiber modem up there, which it doesn't have fiber out, it's only fiber in. So that's why I'm, I'm coming in here with, uh, I'm coming in here, this is my internet coming in here. It also has an SFP connector, two of them here. If your uh, internet coming in uh, or your network coming in is fiber uh, coming from, your modem is sending out fiber, I should say. Uh, yes, I never had any problem with this. I'll show you it on the, I'll show you it on the network now in a minute uh, wh where it connects up. But this is the, this is your this is the most probably the most important part of your network. Uh, I'm running it. Uh, it it's all been run by uh, by uh, the cloud key. This is the cloud key here. I'm doing a review of that before, and uh, the cloud key generation two plus it is actually. And this has got a hard disk in it. It manages the, the network is all managed within this. So it's my own personal cloud. This one does cameras and everything like that. But uh, to, ha but you, uh, if you're if you're serious about your network, you really, really uh, need to have a a, a, f a, f a security gateway. That's a you can use it in different ones. You can plug it direct in. There's a console connection there if you want to go into the coding on it. Uh, th that's too complex for me to do. I use the software. That's uh, I, I use the the cloud software, the, this is the cloud, the software that's on this and that manages the, the whole network whereas I have two of these switches and I have six uh, access points which I'll review later. And there's, uh, there's, two, there's, two, uh, there's two WANs and two LANs, uh, I have it on WAN, that, that's, uh, that's WAN1 and that's, that's going directly from my uh, modem and you have you can have another one going here you can have them on two separate networks so you could have two uh, two internets and you could have one one network for one and one network for the other and there's two lands coming out so uh, so all in all yeah th this has been trouble uh, trouble free for two years now so so uh, we, what we do is we, when we when we log into the system, uh, we got we have uh, the cloud and we have the unified. What we're looking for is to see our uh, our gateway. So uh, we will launch the network, and and the first thing that will come up is the dashboard, and it doesn't give you very much there. It gives you some information. Uh, but uh, what you want to look at, you're not going to look at the statue. You can look at the map first, and this will show you exactly what's going on on your, on your, on your system. So the map here is this, at the heart of the, the very start of it is the security gateway, of course, because that is connected to the outside world, and that is the most important part. And that, my security gateway is connected to, only to, directly to switch eight in the house. Right, so everything goes through that switch after there, and that one, that switch is connected to another switch over the way, over across, in the hotel, and uh, so that that's a LAN cable just going to there. And there's no, we have no guests at the moment; they're all checked out, and they're all checking back in in a few minutes. So there is only one connection, and that's my second phone. And uh, so the, the hotel CCTV is connected as well and the hotel uh, these are the APs these ones I, I swapped around this one should have been over there and this one should have been over there never mind we will move it uh, move it back later or I can change the names right and uh, so uh, yeah, the, the, we have very, I have the echoes are connected up to it and all that sort of thing, you know. Uh, so the the one I use most is devices, and when you go to devices, then you can see the gateway there, and you can see the amount of memory it's using and the much uh, the amount of CPU it's only using. So it's under very little strain there. Now we can click on it, and then you can see that we have uh, we have the temperatures and we have. 
we, uh, you know, we have the IP address which is standard across the board uh, is 192.168.1.1. Uh, that's, uh, if you are coming in on another network, you may need to change that. I, in the beginning, when I was running alongside one, I had to do something like that. I think I remember because I was setting it up. But surprisingly, it took very little time to set it up. So, uh, so uh, you, can, you can hide it there if you want to. So you can change the name of it, of course. Security Gateway Pro, I have written there. Uh, that's the alias. You can just change it there and then press save afterwards. And uh, there's not a, you don't have to do an awful lot with it. There is a, there's common settings uh, and routing and firewall service and that you can check them. Uh, manage device. Yeah, you can do a custom upgrade. By doing a custom upgrade means you probably can backtrack to a different firmware version, I presume, but the, the normal one, uh, you, can, you can forget it and then you have to set it all up again. Uh, you can download the information, but uh, uh, the, uh, the firmware updates come automatically and yeah, it, it asks you to select them, uh, I think only once since I started, so it's very stable version I have at the moment. Uh, so these are the settings on it. and. Uh, I, as this is the heart of the system, it's really, really important that you, uh, for security, especially if you have a business, and that you, uh, that you use something like this. So, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like this video or any of our other videos here on Bupolo, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.